Hey guys, Ernie here. Welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Military surplus gear has been something that's been very popular over the years. And it's actually really increasing in popularity to the point that some of the prices are kind of absurd. Prices in particular on the Swedish military mess kit have gone through the roof. And I was able to pick one up recently, which I'm pretty excited about. So let's take a look at this kit and we're gonna cook up a little lunch here in the woods. Thanks for watching guys. So here we go, this is the Swedish M44 mess kit. The M44 has an aluminum uh, container where the M40 has a much heavier stainless steel. It's a lot sturdier, but like I said, is a lot heavier. These are the pieces of the kit that you get. Like I said, this is the actual mess kit. I'll put the weight down below because I forgot to write it down, but I'll put the weight down below for you guys. It is made out of aluminum. What you want to look for opening this thing up is, see if I can show you guys, you can see it right there there a little mark with three crowns it'll have a date code underneath it or in this case it says KPP I'll try to look up and see what that means I think this is probably a relatively like a newer version of the M44 along with it you get a fuel bottle you get a military style transia which we'll talk about in a little bit and this pretty handy stove stand a very sturdy design Stove stand, as you can see on the inside, has these little things that you pop up, okay? And when you pop that up, let me show you, so they normally lay flat, which allow you to put the pot inside. When you lay it up like this, you put the transi underneath, which we're gonna do in a second, and the pot will sit up on top, whether you're using the top or the actual larger pot will sit on top here, right above that transi. Once again, you look for the mark right here, three crowns with a date code, this date code is 89. I would assume that means 1989, but I didn't know that they made them that recently, but they might have, so there you go. I have another one of these that's dated 68, which is more in line with what I've seen, but this one is in better shape. Let's take a close look at this burner. This is a Trangia. You can see on the bottom right there, again, the three crowns, and it says Trangia, okay? This is the military. You'll notice it does not have a simmer ring. Pops off a little bit differently, and it is quite a bit bigger. The regular Trangia, the commercial one, holds about two ounces of fuel. This one will hold up to four ounces of fuel. Does have an O-ring, so you can store fuel in there if you choose to. There are also models that are made by Svea, so it may, may say Svea. I have a separate one uh, that I purchased that says Svea, so it's just a little bit different. This one is an original. Trangia. As I said, it came with the fuel bottle. Uh, I don't particularly like the fuel bottle. I'll use my Trangia, but I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. Uh, it is handy. Now I paid $40 for this and it's, it's not bad at all. So you would put your Trangia here. This goes right over the top, just like that. And I want to show you guys again. You can see if we fold this down all the way, then this will sit all the way down like that. But when you want to use it as a pot stand, you just open that up and you open that up. And now when you put it in, it sits up high and it will sit above your stove. This will also work with the top just like that. We're gonna use both today. What's so nice about this kit is that it really puts that heat right on the bottom of your pot because it's kind of made purpose-built to use with that Trangia. It's got really good wind protection, obviously, because that Trangia is gonna sit right in the middle there. It has holes around it to allow oxygen in so that you can keep a good burn going. The nice part is, too, is that the stove is twice the volume as the uh, civilian stove, so it really allows you to use it for quite a long time, which we're gonna do today because we're gonna make some pasta right out here. We'll start by boiling up our pasta, cooking it, and then we'll make a little sauce for it in our top.
I'll tell y'all what, I feel a lot better. I was hungry, I started to walk around a little bit here on the property that I've rented, and it was it's nice to get something in my stomach. Lunches on trail don't have to be this complicated. I just wanted to kind of put this kit to the test and see exactly how it would work. You can do something as simple as popping open a can of soup and heating it up and maybe making a little bit of coffee, but you can also get pretty intricate like we did today, and it was a lot of fun to do so. Popularity of these mess kits is not surprising. You kind of get an all-in-one kit, which is very convenient. In this case, you get a stove, which is a very nice time-tested alcohol stove. You can hear it still going. You can tell just how much the wind protection is for this thing. I'm just letting it burn out now. It's been burning for a long time, even after we finished cooking. These kits are built to last. They're relatively cheap. You do have to watch out for them. It took me a long time to pull the trigger on buying one of these. Now, the stainless steel M40 is probably more desirable and is definitely more expensive. I might try to pick up just the actual kit, uh, like the, the cook kit itself, because I have the rest of the pieces. Maybe I could kind of piece one together that way. It is a lot heavier, apparently, and it's going to be a lot sturdier. If you're starting on your outdoor journey, don't underestimate military surplus gear. It's great. Luke from the Outdoor Gear Review has lots of videos about um, military surplus gear, and we're going to start to do more. We're going to try to get as many different military uh, mess kits or cook kits as we can over the next year or so and do some more reviews. If you guys have any uh, recommendations or requests, leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to pick one up. If there's other military gear besides mess kits, what do you guys want to see? Give me some ideas on military surplus gear that I can pick up and review for you guys. They're a lot of fun to check out. You have to source them and stuff. On the way home from here in upstate Arkansas, I'm gonna go to a pretty nice surplus store, I think just north of Little Rock, so we'll check that out. Maybe I'll pick up some cool stuff there. So like I said, if you want more military surplus gear reviews or looks at those, make sure you leave it down below. Do me a big favor, guys. Hit the thumbs up down below. I say it every video, but it really, really helps spread my videos across YouTube and helps the channel grow. You don't have to donate to the channel. I don't ask for anything like that. Just hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscription button. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss any videos, hit that notification bell and you will be the first to know when I release new videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've been wanting to check out this Swedish military mess kit for a long time. Finally got my hands on one for a decent price. We are gonna be taking a look at the military transia versus the commercial transia. Don't worry, that video is coming up soon as well. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.